now we're going to go ahead and um, check in some of these golfers. So I'll show you, you know, um, one common way that when a golfer comes in to check, you know, let's say uh, Phil Nicholson's coming in to check in, we can right click on that reservation, we can add to check in, and this will now take us over into uh, our point of sale. So you can see that he happens to be a member. Here's where I mentioned you could also um, change this to uh, you know, a different rate if they happen to be uh, you know, a senior or something else other than what it had checked them into. If I needed to add anything else to this reservation, like a sleeve of golf balls, we can do this right through here. We can then go ahead and click to pay. The different tender type options you have will show up here. I can either pay you know, by cash or I can charge it back to a member account. In this case, we're just gonna pay by cash and we're gonna close out that transaction. If I go back to my T-sheet now, you can see that uh, Phil is now checked in and paid. If I hover, hover over, you can see that he is uh, paid and good to go at that point. If I wanted to um, check in a group of golfers, I could select um, the group that I'm looking to check in. I could right click on those and also do group check-in. That would pull all three reservations over to my point of sale. Um, and again, I can adjust each individual one if I needed to, if the rate happened to be correct. Uh, in this case, you know, we're gonna just pay for all of those via cash and we can close out that transaction. But I wanna show you now um, one of those features that I think really can help speed the check-in process uh, at the club. Um, we, we call it quick pay. So, you know, a lot of times this will happen, the golfer will come into the pro shop, they're not looking to buy anything else other than just pay for um, their reservation, or it happens to be a member round where they don't actually owe any money. Uh, if I just wanted to do quick pay, I could right click on this reservation since I'm a member, I don't owe anything. I could then select Qu quick pay. So you can see in two clicks, I can check in that member. I never even left the screen of the T-sheet. You can see that they checked in and paid. This really allows me to quickly uh, funnel through uh, a line of golfers that are in the pro shop, especially if they're only you know looking to pay for their greens fees. Uh, I can do the same thing if this if it's not a member and, and right click and do quick pay. Well, then bring up my tender screen that you saw in the point of sale where I can easily just say, "Yep, Amy's going to go ahead and pay us pay us cash twenty dollars." Again, just a couple of clicks, never even had to leave the T-sheet here, and we're able to check that golfer in. Uh, this scenario comes up quite often, you know, as well in the pro shop. Um, you know, let's say a golfer walks in, they put a couple of sleeves of golf balls onto the T-sheet or onto the um, the counter. You ring them up, you let them know, hey, it's going to be thirteen dollars and seventy six cents, and they let you know, oh, we're gonna, I need to pay for golf as well. Uh, in a lot of other systems, you know, we need to delete this reservation and start over. Uh, I can actually just leave that reservation right there. I can go back to my T-sheet now and see, okay, I need to check in Ian. We can go here and I can actually add this to an order. Um, you can see there's that order that we just had. I can select it. It'll now pull us over into the point of sale and it'll put everything onto one bill for us. So I can now uh, check in that golfer as well as pay for their sleeves of golf balls all in the same uh, transaction at that point give us our receipt and now we can go back to the T-sheet and we can see that uh, Ian is checked in and paid at that point. Uh, again, I can hover over any of these if I needed to, to be able to um, show this information you know, through here.